Well, hello, friends and fellow pen testing enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. This is your host, Anya, and today I will be presenting you with a guide to solve the Natus web security challenges hosted by Over the Wire. Now, this guide is going to cover solutions for Natus 0 up to Natus 5. Natus is an excellent way to learn the funnel, uh, fundamentals of web security and web hacking by exploring vulnerabilities through each level. Now, every level presents a challenge at a website located on a Natus or over the wire hosted server. And your task is to gain access to the password for the next level using the tools available to you. Now, this walkthrough is going to focus primarily on command line solutions with the use of curl and wget. All right, so let's forge ahead and get to the solutions for Natus level zero. All right, let's take a look at Natus level zero. Unlike other over the wire games, there's no level goal, but you can see here we have the username and password, both Natus zero, and then the URL. So let's get this URL and we'll flip over to the terminal. We're gonna use curl to pull the HTML from uh, this URL. All right, but when we press enter, we get a 401 unauthorized error, which means we're not passing the correct credentials or any credentials over to the server. We'll just press the up arrow and define that we're going to use curl with the hyphen U option. So the U option will tell curl to use the HTTP basic authentication and send our credentials over to the server. So we'll enter the credentials in as Natus0. Natus0 for the password and the username. And when we enter this in, the server should respond now with the HTML content of the page. And boom, there we go. This is indeed the HTML content with the password for Natus one. All right, we're on Natus level zero to level one. We have the username Natus one and the URL here. So let's copy this URL, flip over the terminal and use curl to look at the content of this URL. And we are again return a 401 unauthorized error. Let's send the credentials over to the server again with the tag U option. And of course, we're Natus1. And then grab the password that you got from the last level. And we'll send it over to the server. You should get some sort of HTML content back. Okay. Great, we did get the HTML uh, content. However, you can see that right-clicking has been blocked. Uh, so what we will need to do now is tell curl to follow any redirects with the tag L option. Going to add that in here. So curl by default doesn't follow redirects, you need to tell it to follow redirect. Okay, so it uh, sent the credentials over to the server, followed the redirect, and here we go. Here is the password for Natus2. All right, moving right along to Natus level two to three. We're given the username Natus3 in the web URL. Let's go over the terminal and as always curl with the hyphen U option and we'll give a uh, username Natus3 with the password that you picked up from the last level. Of course, we're going to curl from this web URL we're given. And this will give the HTML of the main site. All right, perfectly. Uh, we do have a header a div and the content of the div. There is nothing more on this page, no more info leaks. 
Well, this almost suggests that there might be something hidden that isn't immediately visible. Let's take a look, in that case, at the robots.txt file. Let's see if there's a text file that we can pull. Okay, great. Now, the robots.txt file is a standard file on web servers. It is used to give instructions to web crawlers on which parts of the site that shouldn't be accessed. So, we do and see this directory secret is disallowed. So, let's take a look at the secret directory. So we return the HTML for that directory. We see some reference to images and the parent directory, as well as a reference to a txt file. And that txt file is called users.txt. Now that's interesting. So under the secret directory, let's just take a look at the users.txt document. Okay. So that doc, uh, text document contains the NATUS4 password. All right, here we are, NATUS level three to level four, and we have the username NATUS4. Let's go over and we'll, as always, do curl with the tag Q option and send those credentials for NATUS4 over to the server. Of course, we want to fetch from this URL we're given. Right, so we did fetch the main site HTML, and you can see down here in this div, access disallowed you are visiting from, and it can't resolve where I'm visiting from. Well, authorized users should only come from HTTP colon slash slash natus5.natus.labs at over with a wire dot or. Okay, so we'll need to use curl and actually set the referrer header to simulate that the request came from Natus5. And we're going to do that by using the tack E option. That'll allow us to set the referrer header and we'll just set it to natus5.natus.labs.overthewire.org. However, we actually want to fetch from Natus4. So we're also going to enter that web URL again. All right, let's press enter. Okay, and you see because we set the refer headline here, we were then uh, granted access and granted the password for Natus5. Okay, we're on Natus4 to level 5 and our username is Natus5. Let's go over and curl with the hyphen U option as usual. And we'll fetch the main uh, site HTML from this URL we're given. All right, uh, well, we do see we have a div ID here, access disallowed, you are not logged in. Well, we did pass the credentials over. So what I want to do is take a look at the cookie on the server. We're going to have to save the cookie from the server and see, see if anything is wrong with the cookie that's preventing us from logging in or being detected as logged in. We'll do C, and then you can name the cookie anything here. We'll do Natus5 cookie. Okay, access is disallowed, but that hyphen C option should save the cookie in this natus5 cookie.txt file. Okay, so this is why we can't log in. Log in, this value is set to zero. We need it to be set to one. 
So we'll need to edit this file. Okay, and we're just going to set again this value to one. Save your work. Now we need to load the cookie. So you can load the cookie with the option hyphen B. And there we go. Once we loaded the cookie with the corrected logged in value, we're at uh, granted access, and here's the password for NADA6. Well, congratulations on completing the first five levels of the NADA hacking challenge hosted by Over the Wire. By using curl and other command line techniques, you've learned how to interact with web servers, find hidden information, and exploit some common web vulnerabilities. Now these challenges are just beginning, so sharpen those skills and we'll get into some more in-depth and advanced techniques for web security and web hacking. And until next time, please hit the like, the subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz so you can follow my uh, continuation of the Natus solution guide as well as my other projects. Now everybody, Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you are in the world. Happy hacking.